source comes from. And whether he thinks it's a byproduct, or, uh, just a, a side dish, not even that, it's a, yeah, byproduct's a better word. It's a waste product. Uh, it's, it's a, it doesn't have anything to do with the mechanism uh, in its construction, in its nature. Um, it makes tools, and intelligence is just a tool. And intelligence is just describing, modeling reality. I mean, that's what logic does, basically, right? It basically gives you the power to find the A and the B and draw the C conclusion. And, uh, you know, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dissecting tool for the truth. It's uh, like a telescope or like a microscope. Logic is a, a tool of dissection. And when you dissect life on Earth, naturalism, I mean, it's just not, it's not the way, I mean, it's just too polite a term for what's going on here. <laughs> you know, uh, it's stupidism. It's fucktardism. It's, um, chaosism. You know, maybe even that would be just a fair way to describe it. You know, so let's concede what it is. It doesn't have any built-in order beyond very, well, it's crudeism. Yeah, even that, crude. Crude forces, not sophisticated, um, thoughtful. I mean, it's, again, I'll just keep repeating words because it has, this definition has important. We have to understand that all of the faculties that give what we do credibility in terms of what we call intelligence, our faculties nature didn't have when it did its creation, when it built the Frankenstein. It didn't have our knowledge, our understanding of the consequences, the risks. Uh, it didn't have any appreciation for any of that. And so when we say naturalism, you got to understand that context. It's retardism. It's void of um, reason-ism. Uh, let's see, what else can you call it? Because, you know, I think underlying the whole Thunderfooty thing is this pantheism bullshit, this, this idea that the, the freaking Earth, the universe, um, is somehow, somehow, <laughs> you know, worthy of respect. That, uh, what it has created, what does exist, is somehow something that should be, we should be obedient to. So if the DNA says survive, we should survive, because that's what the DNA says. <laughs> and it's just, um, it's childish. And surprisingly, uh, unskeptical. So that leads us to this term atheism again. I did mention that too. And I again spouted this mantra of the atheist now. I guess this is what we're going to have to live with forever. You know, that atheism is just a non belief. And that's just not true. Okay, I mean, grass is atheist by that dumb standard. Um, atheism at minimum is a rejection. Okay, not a mere non-existent belief, but it's a rejection of theism based on, hopefully, and uh, one would probably demand logically or reasonably, yeah, that, that the, the judgment, the rejection, is based on logical deduction, a rational rejection. That's what atheism at minimum is. Rational rejection of the fable of um, supernatural, intelligent uh, design and creation. And, but there's a lot of uh, atheists who you know, have all kinds of theories that, in my opinion, do qualify as supernatural, do qualify as unreasonable. 
they presume the existence of extraterrestrials. They say it all the time. Well, it's gotta, gotta be. It's gotta be. <laughs> yeah, we're here. It happened to us. And it's, uh, it's logically vacant. It's not uh, a reasonable conclusion. Uh, all we can say about life and its probability of existing somewhere else is that what we can say for certain is it's not like volcanoes. <laughs> you know, it's not, they're not all over the place. It doesn't happen easily. It's circumstantially complex and difficult to, in nature, or even externally, as we have found out, uh, build a reproducing cell. It's not easy. It doesn't happen uh, a lot, <laughs> you know, if that's a good word to use. And it might be, it might be, um, uh, for all practical purposes, impossible. We might be it. The only time it's ever happened. Yeah, just finished some underwater filming at the pond. It's really looking bad. Should have got some video of that, but that whole section over there is all covered with this crap. Algae. Thick layers of it. Blobs. Whole continents of it. Oh, almost looks like a crocodile there. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, not too good. But anyway, I think I got a fish. Good video, I think. I hope. <sighs> Keep trying. <laughs> Just see, I don't know, something always goes wrong. Camera exposure fucks up, the macro fucks up, the lens gets foggy, uh, the bag leaks and ruins the camera. <laughs> something, is always something. But anyway, traffic. Uh, it's continuing where I was, left off. For a little bit anyway, since I'm walking. Sorry, traffic. Not a very good plan. But anyway, uh, logic. Yeah, we just, you know, this, <laughs> it's built into the structure of our existence. We apply it all the time. You know, we make logical deductions, um, risk reward uh, assessments, and sometimes our logic, though, is pretty flawed. And I guess that's the definition of the human organism, is that, uh, the logic keeps getting flawed by the ambition, by the the want, the desire, the I wish, I want, I hope, I aspire. All that crap uh, gets in the way of us doing any logical analysis. And so everything is just pretty pitiful. And it's pretty pitiful, in my opinion, for atheists to go around saying, well, atheism just believe, means no believing. That's right, we just don't believe in the God. Uh, we, we don't, we don't um, claim a logic behind that. We don't claim to have acquired that understanding through reason and uh, deduction based on the evidence. I mean, come on, you've got to do that. Uh, to have any credibility. Just saying you don't believe. Who wants to be a part of a club that just says, I don't believe? you got to not believe for a reason. And the reason you don't believe is because you understand physics and chemistry and you understand what the fuck is going on here. And if you're going to make a statement about uh, atheism and the truth that there is no God, oh, there's no way you're going to see it because I have no zoom on this camera. But it's a little doe there, a little tiny one. Very cute. Anyway, um, <laughs> you know, yeah, you can make some true statements about what we are and where we are, and uh, you know, and you're not doing that because it's convenient not to. It's convenient to uh, live part of the fantasy of the of the that that the, of the religious culture. So it's like you're saying, yeah, I want the free Sunday meal. <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, I'll, you know, endure a couple of things like wearing a suit and doing this and doing that. Um, you know, I'll play the game. I just won't be a believer in the game, in the premise of the game. And on a couple of social issues, I'll be, you know, better than the crazy fanatics. 
but in every other respect, yeah, you might as well call me Joe Theist. So anyway, enough of, for now. See you later. Swimming time.